Hey everybody, Joel Moose Droppings. We are moving forward on the T5 Ultimate Forged Internals Rebuild. It has been a while since the last video. We have been uh, messing around with this thing. Uh, the last time or the last video you saw, it started, we had issues. Uh, and then after that, you saw that we had issues with the cam gears and they exploded, not because of the engine or anything, but because uh, paint job and it failed to torque those back down. What we have now, after we've chased down all the oil leaks and all of the uh, just little gremlins and, and wiring and fusing and just kind of making sure everything is clean and put back in, is we're left with uh, two uh, check engine lights. It is the uh, pressure or the uh, timing on, uh, it's like P0016, P0017, which are going to be both of our VDT. Um, both of those are showing timing off. And we ran a compression check on all five cylinders, and every single one is at 85 to 90 PSI, when a stock uh, 2.5 should be at about 145 to 155, is what our buddy uh, with the C30 ran his, so we are definitely way off. So in this video, we are going to just roughly and rawly take you through this. We are losing motivation to film this because we just wanna be in here and get this thing going. Um, but uh, now that we know that the cylinder uh, t uh, compression checks are done, 85, 90, we are going through and doing a leak down. So we're gonna just show you that procedure. Um, and we're also bore scoping and uh, we'll show you what we found uh, with images that will overlay over that. So stick around and we'll kind of walk you through what the heck's going on here. Okay, so uh, the leak down check is, uh, I didn't mention it before, but this is gonna tell us maybe uh, where our compression is going, right? So uh, we are going to uh, insert compressed air into the cylinder that is at top dead center. And we are going to uh, watch the pressure gauge here. We're gonna see if it is in the green or if we're losing air. If we're losing pressure, then we are going to go around and try to listen uh, is it coming out of the dipstick, which means our oil uh, is uh, oil rings or uh, piston rings uh, may be bad? Do we hear something kind of going out through the exhaust? The exhaust valves may be uh, bent or not closing all the way. Uh, do we hear it coming up uh, into the intake mani? So uh, it, it's a pretty solid tool. Do we hear it coming into the cylinder next door? Then we know that the head gasket may be bad. So uh, one by one, we pull the ignition coil pack. That's going to be your eight millimeter. At that point, we pull the spark plug, which is just gonna be your spark plug uh, socket. And then we stick a long screwdriver or something of that nature down in there. And with our uh, 30 millimeter uh, with the passenger side tire off, I am turning the crank while someone is watching the screwdriver as it comes up. And once it uh, gets to top dead center in that cylinder, uh, it will stop and then it will pause and then it will start to go down. Um, at that point, I'm just kind of backing it up a little just to get it right at top dead center. Um, and then this tool is pretty cool. I uh, got it on Amazon. I'll put the link. I don't remember how much, but essentially we're at top dead center here. Uh, we insert the hose in. And then once that is all the way in, we hook it up to the tool. The tool we calibrate and we set it to zero uh, on the gauge. And then once we um, open up and insert it into the cylinder, it, it will read on here and we're looking to keep it in the green essentially um, at you know no more than 20% uh, is what uh, they say is going to be okay on there. Uh, so we're just going to uh, continue to go down that and check each cylinder. Cylinder one we already checked and it was dead spot on 20% in the green bar so we know that we don't have an issue there. Um, so we'll go through all uh, the rest of the four and we'll let you know what we see. This T5 engine rebuild is brought to you in part by IPDUSA.com. IPD is import sauces, a go-to for anything we need maintenance or repair on any of our Volvos. One reason we like them, the My Garage feature, where you can add all your Volvos and then quickly shop for particular parts for that vehicle. When you click on anything, it will give you an alert letting you know that this does fit. If there are fitment issues, you will get an alert when adding to cart, and this will let you know what exactly to check out before. This will ensure that you are getting exactly the right part for your Volvo. Second thing we love, kit builders. 
Here, for popular items, you can get the option to build a kit by adding on additional components that may be related. In many cases, you'll have options for genuine Volvo, or for a more budget-friendly shopping cart, you can add aftermarket. So, when you're going through, you can either select or not select certain components and make sure that you're getting exactly what you need. Lastly, customer service. Their customer service is great. They are U.S. based here on the West Coast. Uh, anytime we call the phone number, a real live Volvo owner and daily driver answers the phone and works with you on any product questions or help with your shopping cart. If you're getting your parts anywhere else, go ahead and check out IPDUSA.com. Okay, so one thing we also uh, thought about and we wanted to check was, uh, obviously we know our uh, cylinder uh, compression is low, but uh, I was checking it at 6,200 feet elevation. So obviously the barometric, barometric pressure is a little bit different and the reading is gonna be a lot different. So uh, now that the car's down here at sea level, I want to run a compression check on cylinder one, compare it to the data from 6,000 feet elevation, figure out the percentage difference, and then uh, I'm not gonna run all five, but I'll, I'll do the uh, calculation across it just so I have an idea of what the, the true compression is down at, at this uh, uh, elevation, and that'll give her a, a better idea. I mean, we already know it's low, but let's see, um, you know, more of a pinpoint how far off we actually are. Okay, so as suspected, uh, 85 was our reading on cylinder one up at 6,200 feet elevation. Here we are at 100, so there's definitely a difference in the elevation. I'll run that calculation across and get an idea of exactly where the other four are at. And then, uh, you know, again, we're, we're shooting for 145, 160, somewhere in there. Well, maybe lower because we have the uh, 8, uh, 8.5 to 1 uh pistons instead of the factory nine but still uh that gives us a good idea on target so we'll keep uh troubleshooting so long story long we don't have much footage of what happened next but we did go through and we checked all of the cylinder compressions uh put those numbers up here are the numbers that we got from our buddy with a uh, uh c30 um and uh so we knew something was wrong there. We went through and did the leak down test, and regardless of 20% uh, leak down being in the green uh, for a zero mile engine that has been fully rebuilt, uh, it, it shouldn't be that high. Um, you know, everything should be a lot tighter and a lot more dialed in. Uh, we were seeing on some cylinders as high as 35% uh, leak down, and, and so obviously we knew we had a problem. We uh, towed the car back home um, as the uh, winter uh, melted off and we were able to get back uh, outside at our uh, primary residence. And that's when we continued to uh, just rip everything off of the head. So that was uh, the intake uh, manifold plenum as well as the lower intake uh, manifold on there. Um, and, and really just open it up and uh, continue to do the leak down test at that point. Um, and then here's the video that we shot and ultimately um, led us to see that, hey, you know what, there's, there's some valve train issues on there. So long story long, uh, this picture is actually a picture of the engine, which is done, running solid. Uh, but we got uh, one more video after this one to show you how we got there. Um, but essentially, uh, we're ripping the whole top end of the engine apart, so uh, stay tuned. 